my life has changed completely but it wasn't like that always you know i used to dream a lot like how i can travel full time and live my passion every single day so one day i picked up the camera and started working on my ideas i didn't realize but my dream became my reality Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you loved the intro. Now today we will be talking about what goes behind creating these travel videos. You know, the idea, the execution, everything. You always get to see the final outcome, the final video, but you don't know how do we create it. So that's what I will be talking about in this video today. So let's start it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the story because nothing is more important than telling a story. You know, we always want to hear the stories, right? You must have noticed that when somebody tells you a story, you try to visualize all of the scenes in your mind and that's how you're able to relate it. So through these trial videos, we try to tell a story and we add our own natural flavor to it and at the same time you get to visit the places, the people, the culture, right? So I want to talk about my trip to Africa. You know, I was about to go on a two month trip to Africa and I didn't know anything about it. I, I just heard about how different that place looks than ours. So I had to plan a lot about how I'm going to tell a story. And I started researching about all of the places I wanted to visit because when I will actually be there, I will be able to communicate better. I'll be able to tell a better story. Like for example, read about the most special thing about that place, read about the people People, culture and history every place has a beautiful history and then you should read about it and then think about all the talking points and make a rough outline about it but your video will not exactly look like how you have written it because you want to feel your natural emotions what you are feeling at that place so ultimately what I wanted to say that when you read about the places before going there and when you are actually there you make a connection and you appreciate it better and then you are able to tell in a better way. So whenever trying to make a trial video, do research and write about that place because when you write, your mind becomes creative and you get crazy ideas that how you wanna execute it. And that's really important because you get to tell a better story. Now the next part is things to carry before you travel. Basically what I'm saying is which camera gears to carry when you go out and travel. So when I am traveling, I like to keep my camera bag really lightweight and carry only minimum stuff which I need for the shoot so I use a7s3 which allows me to shoot in the 4k and I carry just two lenses so I take one wide-angle lens and one telephoto lens so the wide-angle lens I use is 10 to 18 mm f by 4 it gives me really wide perspective when I'm vlogging or when I'm talking to the camera and I have another person with me like it allows the two people to be in one frame comfortably along with the view and the other lens I use is 85 mm f 1.8 to get the close-up sharp look just to get the you know real emotions out I use that lens so with these two lenses I can shoot almost everything and I also carry one drone as well just to get the wide landscapes kind of different perspective you know the aerial view of that place so that you will feel like what this place looks like and I also carry one laptop which is very lightweight and still allows me to edit in the 4k like on this trip I'm using Asus laptop which has high performance AMD processor which has 8 core CPU you know when you are editing in the software like I use Premiere Pro most of the time your computer will use the CPU not the GPU because the GPU will only be used when you're exporting the video or when using some kind of effects most of the time your CPU needs to be very powerful while you're editing so that you'll be able to edit comfortably in the 4k so this AMD Ryzen 5000 series processor helped me out in editing very smoothly without any interruption so now the interesting part starts. You have packed your bag, you have your story with you. Now it's time to travel. Now it's time to go out and shoot your experiences. Now talking about shooting experiences, the next part is how to shoot your videos. In this, the first thing that you should remember is 
never miss a sunset or sunrise because that's the time when you will get the most beautiful colorful light and your visuals will look just amazing with this perfect light and i'm talking about the colors nowadays all of the professionals shoot in log format like all of the movies nowadays everything most of the people are shooting in the log format because that's how you will get the most dynamic range in the video means your video will look colorful beautiful because of the log format because when you color grade your highlights and the shadows will look just perfect see this before and after now the next thing to know is always take different type of shots for example when you want to emphasize on something take a close-up shot because that's how you'll get the real emotion the real feeling of the people or maybe when you want to show the place take a wide angle shot or maybe take few shots with the drone so that you'll have different options while editing and shoot that part where you're talking to the local people because that's how you'll get the most authentic information and whoever is gonna watch the video will feel more connected to that place and also take variety of shots and it completely depends on person to person let me tell you what I'm saying for example some people like to shoot on tripod some people like to use handheld shots and some people like to use on the gimbal so when you're shooting in handheld it means you want to show the raw movement when you're shooting on a gimbal it means you want to show the fast pace crazy movements that's when you can use it and when you're shooting on tripod it means you want to show the emotions just maybe for sit and talk you can shoot in the tripod for personally me I like to shoot either handheld or the gimbal I don't really use tripod but that completely depends on person to person you must have seen a lot of movies lot of videos and all these three being used at a different time so try to experiment and see which one works the best for you so once the shoot is done every day is the ritual to make a double copy in the evening and sit and like go through all of the footage for half an hour so that you will get to know that what you have shot and how you can portray a story or if you have missed something you can shoot next day so that you should always do after the shoot don't procrastinate here don't leave it like I'll see in the future no you're gonna miss something because you're on a travel trip for maybe a week for 10 days and you have limited time now the last thing I want to talk about is how to edit on the go I have become a full-time traveler traveling from one country to another country and I have to make use of the time I have so what I like to do is I like to take two days off in a week and like travel for three to four days maybe shoot and then sit and relax for two days just work on the editing go through it and whatever you can edit in those two days do it and then go ahead travel to next destination but for example let's say if you're not getting time and you can't take the break you're on a continuous travel trip every day when you're shooting like after the evening you get time at least one to two hours to work on the edit and that's the time you have to use it because well next day you're again traveling and that's how what I have been doing I've been editing and trying to find the time whatever I have and that's how you can do it too so you get to travel full time you can edit as well so for example if you have a laptop which has a longer battery life it can help in such situations like maybe there is no electricity you are out on a camping you are on the go you can sit anywhere and edit basically right also talking about the laptop having a lightweight laptop makes it easier to carry with such powerful AMD processor like AMD Ryzen 5000 helps in editing 4k videos without any issues and it doesn't get heat up also so that's the way to go and if your laptop has a built-in SSD Nvidia graphic card or 16 to 32 gig RAM it's gonna really help you to get things done faster but always remember that CPU is the most important key factor with eight ultra core fast processors your editing experience will become smooth and you will not need to create any proxies for editing 4k videos you can directly just put it on the timeline and edit all those videos without crashing your editing software so the Asus VivoBook Pro 15 laptop which I have been using for a while now to edit all of my videos has all of these specs which I mentioned above and it has calibrated screen as well which helps me in getting the most natural colors while editing so when I export the videos and put it online it's gonna look the same as it looks on my laptop and if you want to know the process of editing like what are all those steps I take in the editing like maybe put in timeline how to use the sound effects music color grading all of those things for that I have created a separate video and you can go in the description and have a look at that video also so you'll get more detail about editing so yeah that's all the things I wanted to talk about in this video I think you are all set to go you should just go out and work on your ideas execute it put it out there online because I've read somewhere done is better than perfect I always keep in my mind sometimes you know we always think that okay we are trying trying to make things perfect and that takes a long time 
but instead if you get things done faster and work on next project you will actually grow you will learn because you will see all those mistakes which you have done in the past project in the next project you will not do that so yeah that's what i wanted to say and with that said if you really enjoyed this video then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for future videos and let me know in the comments below if you want to watch more such videos and i'll see you in the next one till then take care bye bye dhanyawad